let's just get right into the unboxing here. So this is what Samsung decided to <laughs> package this in. Some type of cardboard fishnet. So yeah, this is the portable SSD T7 up to 1,050 megabytes read, and read speed and 1,000 megabytes per second write. Supported by USB 3.2 generation to 10 gigabits. I'm very confused. Because from what I understand, at least on Mac, it's uh, pretty unrealistic to get those speeds because of the limitations of USB 3. I mean, that's what I've been reading online, so... It's the only thing that's kind of bummed me out about this. So let's see what we get in the box. I decided to go blue. I think blue is Samsung's like signature color. All right. I just remember like the galaxies, like the Samsung Galaxy phones and stuff and like their logo. It's always been like this, this blue. It's very nice made out of aluminum, metal. It's cool to the touch. I like that a lot. Again, look at comparison's sake. This one's actually smaller. <laughs> By a lot, actually. But it's made out of plastic. This one just feels more solid. And it's just a USB-C. And in the box, we get, hopefully, some cables. Looks like it comes with both a C to C and C to A. So you don't have to use an adapter which is nice. Here we go. C to shining C. I'm not even going to take out the USB A1. Let me plug this guy into my Mac. Again, this is a late 19 16 inch. Came out two years ago. Get info. It's formatted in XFAT. In case anybody's wondering. All right, so we're going to do a speed test on this. Let me pick the right drive. We're going to do T7. Open that. We're going to do, let's just do one gigabyte of stress and hit start. And I'm getting around 863 megabytes write and 900 read, which is <laughs> ridiculously fast. But it's definitely not what was advertised. So yeah, I'm getting about 866 megabytes of uh, of write, about 900 megabytes of read. All right, I'm going to stop that, eject the drive. And the reason I'm ejecting it is because I did pick up a brand new MacBook. This little guy is the 14-inch. Uh, this is the base model, so two thousand bucks. It's got a eight core uh, CPU, fourteen core GPU. It's a half a terabyte of storage. These ones are running Thunderbolt four, supposedly. Um, so I wanted to see if I'm getting the same speeds or better. Technically, you're supposed to be getting better speeds. We're going to open up Black Magic. And then we're going to select the target drive, which is the T7. One gigabyte of stress. Let's hit start and see what kind of. Ooh, this is interesting. All right, this is not good at all, guys. I'm getting lower read and write speeds on a technically better computer. This is the 14-inch MacBook Pro using Thunderbolt 4. Uh, I'm getting 752 megabytes of write, and I'm getting about 728 megabytes of read. Not sure why. I'm going to stop it. Um, let me... going to eject it. I'm going to use as if it'll make a difference. I'm going to use the uh, 
other side. <laughs> um, keep in mind, I don't have anything plugged into this Mac. I don't even have power connected to this. So, um, you know, in case you're wondering. Okay, can I change the drive again? T7, cool. All right, let's do it again. And makes absolutely no difference. I'm getting a little bit over 700 megabytes of write and a little bit over 700 megabytes of read. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's running slower than on my older MacBook Pro. I don't know if it has something to do with the Apple Silicon versus the, you know, my 2019 uses Intel. So I don't know if that's, I know Intel is, is the one behind Thunderbolt. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe somebody can explain this to me, but it is really disappointing when you pay for, you know, the faster speeds because Samsung does make a uh, more affordable option, the Samsung T5. And really the only difference between the T5 and the T7 is the speed. Yeah, so the Samsung T5 uses USB 3.1 Gen 2 interface, and it gives you up to 540 megabytes. And that's why I decided to go for the T7, because it's faster. And when you're pushing large files and moving large files, you appreciate the or the faster transfer speeds. Okie dokie, artichokey. <laughs> Now, I'm just curious, you know, if maybe using a Thunderbolt 3 cable might give me a better, faster speed. I mean, this cable's pretty thick, but I'm pretty sure it's USB-C. I don't really know if that's going to make a difference, to be honest. Um, I also have a Windows computer, which, you know what, I might just turn on and, and do a speed test on there. But yeah, this is the Samsung T7 in blue and uh, these have been my findings so far I'm gonna try and plug it into my Windows computer and then wrap this video up so I have this plugged into my gaming PC running the same Blackmagic app I am getting my write speeds about a little bit under 800 megabytes and my read speeds are 900 um, and I did verify, this is my motherboard, I have the Asus Tough Gaming, and uh, I do have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C, and that's exactly why I have it plugged in, using the cable that uh, Samsung provided me. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm getting, I think the highest read speeds, and um Right speeds are all right, but if I'm not mistaken, both of those numbers are better than uh, my 14-inch MacBook Pro, so really don't know what's going on, but yeah, these are my findings.